Gracias. Si gente se. Luis, thank you, sir. So he asked, would I come to the prayer breakfast? My answer was, por supuesto. <laughs> I am honored to join you. I was proud to stand with you in 2002 at the first National Hispanic Prayer Breakfast. And today I'm proud to stand you, with you at the, uh, for the final time as your sitting president. This happens to be a, an important event in, in my view. It's an important event because it uh, reminds us that no matter what our status in life might be, that we, uh, that we have a duty to respond to a higher power. Amen. You know, next year in Crawford, Laura and I are going to be having a different kind of prayer breakfast. I'll be cooking the eggs, and she'll be praying I don't burn them. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to welcome the First Lady of Panama, Vivian Fernandez de Torrejo. Thank you for coming. As some of you may or may not know, the uh, Niñita lived in Panama for a while, and uh, the government and the people there were so kind and hospitable, and I can't, I'll never be able to repay you for that, so thank you very much. Please give your uh, esposo my best regards. Uh, Presidente de Panama, si, thank you. Proud to be here with pastors and community leaders. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Each of you here this morning is here to celebrate a simple and powerful act, prayer to an almighty God. You know the comfort that comes from placing our worries in the hands of a higher power. You know the humility that comes from approaching our maker on bended knee. And you know the strength that comes from lifting our thoughts from worldly cares and focusing on the eternal. Today I ask all to join together to pray that God continues to bestow his blessings on our wonderful country. We pray that the Almighty will strengthen America's families. A caring family is the foundation of a hopeful society. We pray that every child in America can grow up in a loving and stable home. We pray for the day when every child in America is welcomed in life and protected in law. And we pray that in every community across this great land, the Almighty will strengthen los valores de la familia y de la fe. We pray that America will strengthen those who serve nuestros hermanos y hermanas in need. We pray for the continued success of faith-based and community groups like Esperanza, all aiming to transfer our great country one heart, one soul, one conscience at a time. I was proud to hear of the work of Esperanza in Philadelphia. I've, I've known Esperanza for ocho años. I was first impressed by the vision of making sure that every child gets a good education. So we just started a charter school. It's a tremendous school. Well, less than 1% of the students drop out. And more than 90% of the graduates are planning to go to college this fall. There's nothing more hopeful than to give a child a good education. <laughs> impressed by the program called Esperanza Trabajando. This program helps at-risk youth and for former prisoners move from lives of hopelessness to futures of accomplishment and self-sufficiency. Esperanza Trabajando, for those of you who don't speak Spanish, and frankly, mine isn't all that good, <laughs> means hope is working. And that's exactly what you are demonstrating, Luis, and others in this room demonstrate cada día every day. For the past eight years, my administration has provided unprecedented support for the compassionate work performed by faith-based and community groups. Because I understand this. Government can hand out money, but government cannot put hope in a person's heart. And oftentimes that is found in our faith community and our community organizations. 
And so we lower the barriers that kept government and faith-based groups needlessly divided and ensure that America's armies of compassion are at the center of our nation's efforts to make our society more hopeful for every individual. Organizations like yours have shown the ability to save and change lives. And in your mercies of love and mercy, you must always have a strong and reliable partner in government. We pray that Almighty will strengthen and protect those who serve the cause of freedom. Brave men and women share our cherished belief that the desire for liberty is written by the Almighty in every human heart. We believe in the universality of freedom. And when we see people suffer from forms of government that create hopelessness or disease and hunger and mosquito bites, that deny people a hopeful life, the United States must act under the theory and the principle that to whom much is given, much is required. Amen. I'm impressed, deeply impressed by those who wear our nation's uniform.
It's amazing. You think they come up and say, you know, it's like a new highway. Or <laughs> an additional bridge. But no total strangers come and say, I just want you to know we lift you up in prayer. Somebody asked me what all that meant, and I said, well, you know, I'm finally beginning to understand the story of the calm and the rough seas. And I attribute it to the fact that millions of people have been so kind and generous to pray for me and Laura. And so my final Final trip here as your city president. I thank you for your prayers. Can't thank you enough for your spiritual support. And it's made a significant difference during these seven and a half years. <coughs> Being the president has been an unimaginable honor and a joyous experience. Thank you. And God bless.